Breaking news in the urgent search for 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham in Polk County. Hello again, I'm Tom Abrams. Investigators believe the child was abducted before she got on a school bus Thursday. And tonight they have named a person of interest connected to her disappearance. In the quiet town of Texas, a shocking crime ascent ripples through the community. The lifeless body of an 11-year-old girl was discovered in a river, and the prime suspect, the very babysitter entrusted with her care. Today, we unravel the chilling details about this case that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. In the first few moments, we stumble upon a town grappling with a sinister secret. What happened to this young girl, and why was she found tied to a rock in the riverbed? The answers lie in a story of betrayal and trust done wrong. But hold on, because the journey we're about to embark on is one you won't see coming. Audrey Cunningham, a missing Texas girl, was discovered dead on Tuesday afternoon. When Audrey disappeared early on Thursday morning in Livington, about one hour north of Houston, it started a statewide search. The 11-year-old's body was discovered in the Trinity River close to the Livingston U.S. Highway 59 Bridge, Polk County Sheriff Byron Leones reported at a press conference on Tuesday. Leon said, quote, This news breaks my heart, and I send my sincere condolences and sympathy to everyone who knew, loved, and cared for Audrey. According to the charges, there is substantial evidence in the case, and videos and data from cell phones were used to identify search areas. Authorities said that the body was found because the Trinity River Authority had lowered the river's water levels. Records from Polk County show that on the morning of February 15, Don Stephen McDougall, 42, was with Audrey. McDougall and the child drove the suspect's 2003 Chevrolet Suburban out of Cunningham's house, according to the records, to put the child off at his cool bus stop outside the area. Cunningham never arrived at Creekside Elementary School in that particular day, according to the officials. According to reports, McDougall was a friend of the Cunningham family who stayed in a camper on their land and had access to the victim's house. Later that evening, authorities launched an Amber Alert and started looking for the missing girl. And then on Friday, investigators discovered a Hello Kitty bag close to the dam on Lake Livingston, one of the biggest lakes in the state, which they suspect belonged to the child. Having been involved in the search, McDougall, whose criminal history dates back to the early 2000s, was seen knocking on neighbors' doors and asking as to whether anyone had seen Audrey. According to records, the victim's body was discovered on February 20th during a search of the Trinity River close to SH-59 South and the line between Polk and San Jacinto counties. It turned out that she had died from blunt force injuries. After an autopsy, the cause of death was found to be murder. The rope used matched with a rope that was observed in McDougall's car on a traffic stop two days before, according to the authorities, who also stated that the body of the victim was found tied to a big rock. McDougall was already being held by the authorities in connection with a different assault carried out in Livingston, Texas. According to Brazoria County, Texas court records, McDougall entered a plea of not guilty to two charges related to luring a child in 2007 and was given a two-year jail sentence. According to CNN, he declared on social media that he had done nothing wrong. The victim's body was to be transferred to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office for an autopsy and to identify the cause of death per an order from a San Jacinto Justice of the Peace. About Cunningham's death, McDougall has been charged with capital murder based on evidence that claims to show that he lied about his whereabouts on February 15th. Today, the entire world is mourning Audrey's death and lighting candles. Let's take a moment to remember the young life lost in this heartbreaking incident. Our thoughts go out to the affected community during this difficult time. Life can be fragile, and stories like these remind us to cherish and protect those we hold dear. Until next time, take care and be kind to one another.